All right, this is addressing some of you dudes in the comments. Check this out. This is my MMP, okay? 2.0, right? No magazine in, no rounds. Cool? This is the original guide rod and spring that it came with. You see that? So check this out. I'm gonna do something. Watch this. That is the guide rod and spring I just put in. The one that's allowing me to air wrap. The one you guys are saying is fake. It's not fake. It's just a 13 uh, pound spring. Okay? So check it out. Boom. Now watch this. Taking it out. See how they look? See how they look? I'll just set it down right here for a second. I'm gonna take the old one. Okay? Boom, old one's in, okay? Okay, old one's in. Tough, it's tough. Where's our, here it is. Boom, mag, it's got two dummy rounds in it, okay? Two dummy rounds. Now, if that worked, which I'm not gonna pull the magazine out and check. If that worked, a round should spit out this chamber. Now this is on the old spring, okay? Let's see. Nope, it jammed. See that? Boom, still have one round in the mag. There it goes. Heavy, heavy, right? So, what I'll do is, Put this guy back in the mag. Set him aside for a second. Let's go ahead and take the old one back out. Okay. Put it back in my pocket. I'm gonna take the new one. Okay. Just, just to show you. Okay. Put this guy back in here. Okay. Same magazine. Got those two dummies in it. Ready? Now, if that worked, the round should pop out the chamber. Let's see. Let's try it one more time. It should lock back. Not fake. All right, so now that we've established that it's not fake, right? It's just a really light spring, dude. And uh, I know a lot of people are like, it's gonna jam, blah, 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 blah. Dude, I ran it for three days straight. Three days straight, at least 100 rounds, 100 to 120 rounds each day. And it has not jammed. It's cycled every round. I will say that I did have probably five ammo mount malfunctions and it wasn't a jam like it did not not cycle it just uh, I, the power didn't go off and what i boiled it down to was the firing pin so uh i never cleaned it as far as since i've owned it so i've had it for about two years um counting to the day now and maybe did a full thorough cleaning on it once before I put this guy in there. And so when I got home yesterday from the range, I just took, you know, took it apart, took out the firing pin, cleaned it up. It was super dirty in there. So, I mean, obviously my bad on, 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 on dropping too much oil in there. Obviously it got into where the firing pin is, got clunky, you know, clumped up, whatever, clunky, what the hell is that? Um, so yeah, I cleaned it out. It's like a brand new gun, super clean. I'm gonna go run it again today. Um, I do have some content from the past three days shooting, but it's not very good. I'll still post it though. Um, also too, you'll see um, on some of my my targets, 
I'm dropping to the left, right? To the left. Um, and obviously I'm thinking it's me slapping the trigger. However, this is why you got to check your equipment, right? My red dot screws um, from a Hollison war, war, what the hell? Um, dude, they were too small. So luckily I had the bag with all the screws in it. So I swapped the screws out, uh, put some Loctite on there and then ran it and it's good. So today, my main purpose of getting to the, uh, to the range today is to make sure it's zeroed in where it needs to be. I can dry fire all day on that little dude back there, but at the end of the day, if you're not in the range, um, double, triple checking, you never really know. So, so far, I trust my life with it like 60%. That's just because I haven't had enough time with it. I do keep, um, it probably sounds stupid, but I do keep my stock spring rod, uh, spring and rod in my like to go bag or like my everyday bag i have like this little box just like this here i keep uh my hollison tool and maybe a few extra rounds loose rounds in there um so it does kind of stay in there for the moment anytime i do feel uncomfortable or whatever the case may be it's quick you just swap it out really fast but i've gotten to, uh, a little accustomed to this one and i like it it's really smooth um, it has not jammed on me yet, but we will see. I mean, I'm also running Blazer 147 grain. My carry ammo is a 115 grain, which I have not shot it through this yet. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump my self-defense ammo up to maybe a 125 or a 147 even. I mean, it's a lot of bang, but when you got something like this in there, you're not gonna really feel it, you know what I mean? 